Hello brothers and sisters, it's wonderful to come to you again this afternoon to share with you the word of truth with no compromise. I've just been looking at the scripture in the book of Psalm chapter 11 verse number 3. The Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? I'm sure David wrote this psalm in a moment of crisis like we are living right now whereby uh, laws are being broken and um, there is moral decline in almost every nation. We just had what is just happening in America right now, um, where the gay uh, uh, law or bill is being passed on. And, and, and now um, everybody is you know, excited about it. Um, all the gays are meeting up in there. Uh, services and reverends who are standing to join them together a man and a man and a woman a woman um, I want you to know that this was not so from the intention of marriage when God created marriage he created them men and woman according to the book of Genesis chapter 1 and I do believe it's time for us to go back to Genesis where God created uh, the foundation of marriage I do think um, it's gone a bit extreme and um, Christians are quiet about it uh, and I'm sure uh, there is a voice that God is looking for and, and I do believe that you are the voice, I am the voice. God is calling us to speak on behalf of his kingdom because uh, I'm, I'm just disturbed to see what is going on while we are all quiet and just busy with our own lives as usual. And, and I want you to know that Jesus is coming back and things are getting worse. But God is looking for a voice because there are some men of God and, and, and people that God entrusted them with an anointing to uh, speak these last days, to do what um, he, he called them to, uh, to do. But unfortunately, uh, I, I know many of them have failed God and they are no longer uh, in the place where God left them. They are no longer preaching the true gospel. They have watered down the gospel. They have compromised their faith. They have destroyed the foundations of faith. But I want you to know, in times of crisis, when the foundation are being destroyed, as a child of God, what shall we do? I want you to know that God is calling you to be the voice that is going to reprove evil and call evil evil. And I know that God is calling you and I in agreement together that we are going to stand up in the midst of all this moral decline and declare that we know the God we serve. We say like um, Joshua, uh, like he said in in in. in, in chapter 24 verse 15 he said as for me and my house we will serve the Lord we will also say like Elijah uh, on Mount Camel when he was um, tested and, and and tempted to give up even by the prophet of Baal and he stood up his ground and amongst the 450 he was the minority and he said uh, choose ye today. Don't linger in two opinions. If Baal is your God, follow him. If God, the living God, is your God, follow him. How long are you going to linger in two opinions? Let me ask you the same question. Are you lingering in two opinions? You're not sure uh, what the word of God says? Let me tell you, I don't care what people say. The word of God is the foundation of our Christian faith. And if it's not written in the word, it's not from God and don't base your faith on it. Don't take it just because it was preached on TV by a TV evangelist. I can assure you these last days, the false prophets are coming up and they will prophesy. They will call fire down. They will do miracles and it will seem as if they are true miracles from God. But there is a, a thin line between the uh, prophetic and the pathetic. There is a, a, a thin line between the truth and, and, and deception. So you've got to be very careful in the days that we are living in, that you will be the voice that will hear from God. And then you will speak to your nation a life where there is destruction. And let me tell you right now, you have authority to put things in order where there is no order because God has given you that authority. Don't be afraid to speak. Stand up. Arise. 
shine because your light has come. We are the light of the world. The work of the light is to illuminate, to bring brightness in darkness. And right now, the earth is being uh, invaded by great darkness. But you and I can bring that light by speaking the word of God, even where uh, people want us to compromise. According to uh, his word, also the Bible says we're not just the light, but also we are the salt of the earth. What is the work of the salt? The salt brings flavor. Uh, salt is for preservation. And you have been called to be that salt, to preserve your community, to preserve the lives of people, to bring flavor in, in the lives of people. When people see you, when people hear you, they must see something different. They might hear something different from you because you have been called to bring that uh, illumination and that um, uh, 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 a flavor in the lives of people. This is your time, brother and sister. Do not be afraid to speak. Do not be afraid to reprove sin. Do not call sin uh, good. Definitely, you have to know the difference according to the word of God. Don't say, I don't know what is true. I don't know what to take. I don't know what to leave. But let me tell you this. The word of God is the foundation for your Christian faith. You don't have to find the truth anywhere else. Go into the word. Be like the Berean church where the Bible says that Paul taught the word of God and they went back home to search the scriptures to see what Paul was saying if it was true. Be that kind of a Christian. Do not be convinced by what you are told by somebody else. The word of God is the foundation of our Christian walk and a Christian faith. Trust in the Lord and pray more because the times that we are living is the time where the Bible says they just shall live by faith and not by sight. I'm telling you, even right now, the things that are happening, unless you have faith in God and your trust in God, you will be swayed away. You will be carried by all kinds of doctrines that are coming up today. I pray that the Lord will build you up. I pray that the Lord will encourage you. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you. I pray that God is not going to allow anything to stop you moving to your destiny. I pray that you will not be left behind. I pray that you will be the one that will prove sin so that one day you will see the people that you told them the truth in heaven. Do not be afraid. This is your time to speak the truth. God bless you now, Todfen, and go ahead and evangelize speak the truth tell it as it is tell it over the mountain top let the people know that jesus christ he is lord god bless you now bye bye